it's like I just pulled out um, an old tripod -y situation and I couldn't for the life of me remember how to use it. Right, so I also was intending originally on having my makeup done before we filmed this video. But here we are! Not great with time management. Mm -hmm. As I was like going upstairs because I told Milo in advance um, that I would be filming a live because when you have children at home, which they are because um, they are, what's the word, isolating from school. Um, you need to give them some notice when you're going to need them not to come into the room. Uh, good morning, Tracy. And um, I told him eight o'clock and he was like, right, so I'm going to be upstairs. I'm going to put a bit more of that on because my skin absorbed it so quickly. I'm going to be upstairs, so I'm going to go downstairs at eight o'clock when you're filming upstairs. I'm like, that's a good idea. And so he came downstairs at like five to eight. I was like, let me tell you about all the dreams I've had in my life. And so we talked a lot about dogs in dreams while I was like, so I'm just going to have to quickly go upstairs and do that thing I told you about. Do you remember? tricky um anyway good morning good morning good morning speaking of time management i just can't get it together at the moment at all for video stuff i mean part of it was the kids were sent home and that kind of threw me out of whack a little bit but i had time to film these videos i had time to film lots of videos on tuesday if i'd chosen to instead on monday i did some diy you may have seen in a vlog um I painted the kitchen and I um, put up some like cladding behind the dining table, which I love. That's definitely a favourite of the week. Um, big fan. Really, really happy with it. Oh, thanks, Tracy. It's a little bit darker because it faded so quickly last time that I said I wanted to go darker this time so it would last a little longer. But the idea is gradually to go darker with just some kind of like warmth and sun kissed look to it. Um, and then on Tuesday, I finally, finally got around to um, sorting out all of my clothes. Like I went through the wardrobes and arranged everything because I could never find anything since we moved into this, um, like into the rest of the rooms of the house. I just kind of threw everything in the wardrobes and it was my lowest priority. Um, but it needed to be done. And it's done now and I feel great about it. My skincare, my, um, specifically, my like leggings and stuff are all in one place. So I'm doing the 10,000 steps a day challenge, but it's actually for a larger challenge, which is a million steps for Diabetes UK. Um, for no reason. I mean, there's lots of diabetes in my family. My mom is convinced we'll get it because um, it is prevalent. Um, but for no other reason than somebody suggested it to me when I was talking about doing 10,000 steps and I thought that's fantastic. So we can do this, it will keep me focused, it will keep me kind of with a goal in mind um, beyond myself, a bit more accountable and we can raise some money at the same time and we have, it's great. If you are interested in joining um, our team then I'll leave the link below after we've finished filming um, and you can donate to anyone in the team as well which is also great. Um, but I wanted to be able to find my leggings and stuff because that's definitely, if you're dressed to walk or to move, then you're going to be more inclined to just like pop out for a quick walk because that's how I'm getting the steps in. I'm like quickly running to Tesco, which is not super far away. Um, or just like walking around the block, walking to a little lake near us. Little walks here and there is definitely helping when I'm working or when the kids are home. Of course, it's also super useful. I don't know how hot this, I think it's going to be too hot. Um, also super useful to have a near 16 year old now because it means that um, with both kids being off, I don't necessarily need to be like in the house all the time, especially isolating. Um, I can still leave the house and Ella can stay with Milo so I can still get my steps in. You see, it's all coming around. Uh, and this is why an age gap is great, guys. This is why an age gap is fantastic i'm not gonna do i'm feeling good about my skin at the moment and i'm not gonna do a full foundation i'm just gonna brighten up some areas of redness and that is gonna be it um so speaking of favorites i did make a little list it's underneath my cup now um top of that list and i did talk about this sorry i feel like i'm forever plugging vlogs in these videos but 
I now am vlogging so frequently that I, it's almost like I assume that you'll know what I'm talking about. I don't want to repeat myself, but I realise not everyone watches both. Um, I did talk about this and I also talked about it in... Oh, skin always looks better when you're drinking more water. Completely true. Completely true. And I'm drinking so much water and no alcohol. Um, that said, and I'm going on a tangent, I'm going to forget what I was talking about, but... Um, there are so many little things that I'm like, like if I have a glass of wine at night and then the next day I wake up and I feel really puffy or like, ugh. I'm like, oh, it's that wine I had the night before. It's not because I'm still feeling that way. It's partly the heat. It's partly like sodium levels or whatever because I do um, eat a lot of salty foods. I've had people in the past tell me the kind of supplements I need to take to balance that out, but I can't remember what they are. If anyone wants to tell me, I'm all ears. Um, but yeah, I kind of always thought, well, it's like, it makes you dehydrated alcohol. So if I have a glass of wine at night and that's how I feel in the morning, then that's why. Oh, I have a little bit of retinol peeling, I think. Um, but I'm drinking tons and tons and tons of water and I still do get a little bit puffy. And I think it is just, some people are puffier than others, you know? Um, skin, we were talking about skin. What were we talking about? I wanted to talk about a playlist. If you are on Apple... Uh, if you have an Apple phone, iTunes, you know what I'm saying. Um, cannot recommend highly enough the Feeling Good playlist. It's the one that starts with Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Marvin Gaye and... Is it Tammy Terrell? I don't, I don't want to say, but I think it is Tammy Terrell. Um, and I've just gone in with this brush, like, really randomly. So I'll try this. And now I'm doing it, I'm like, this is weird, isn't it? It's weird. Um... Love, 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 love. That is the one that you want. It's like a pink background with a thumbs up on the front. Um, and I did post, looking for another brush, I did post um, the entire playlist on my stories at one point. So if you're interested, I will forward you. If you message me on Instagram, I'll forward you those pictures because it's so, so upbeat. I can't, it's my go-to feel good playlist. And you know, music obviously has an impact on your mood, but this is the first time that I found something that I put it on and truly, it really turned my mood around. It was a Friday. I had like stuff to do, cleaning to do, various things. And I bounced around the house listening to this playlist. It made me feel so, so great. Also, I have a new patch of pigmentation here. This is brand new. I had it like here, 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 here. This little bit is new. And this is really annoying because it makes me think I haven't blended something and it's actually just my face. It's just my face. I was looking yesterday at, um, that is annoying. I was looking yesterday at uh, laser stuff. I'm either gonna have a laser face, uh, sorry, a facial peel, because that's supposed to be good for pigmentation as well. Good for fine lines, good for pigmentation. But I'm either gonna have like a laser peel, like Samantha in Sex and the Sea, or, I'm going to have um, like an actual Fraxel laser treatment, which is like more painful, really hardcore. The downtime is insane. This is too much highlighter. I already know. Um, like you need like seven to 10 days in the house. It's really, really hardcore. Um, and I don't know whether or not I'm ready for that yet because that seems to give you this like these amazing, amazing results. But it seems to be more on slightly older women um, because it's it's definitely although it is it absolutely can be for um, pigmentation and it really, really helps. It seems more to be focused on um, anti-aging and it's, it makes a massive difference. The pictures that you can see of people it really does seem to make a considerable difference. I was talking to my friends about this um, the other week and, you know, like Botox and filler and all of that stuff. And I said, before I go down any route like that, before I consider anything where you're like putting something like that in your body, um, I'd like to go down the chemical skincare, chemical skincare, that's not what I mean, the medical grade skincare route. Um, so, you know, like any celebrity who says they've never had anything done, they've definitely had these things done because this is not invasive. This is not injectables. They're not putting anything 
in, but they're resurfacing and it is just medical grade skincare. It's like peels and all kinds of things. And I think I'd be quite interested in some of that stuff. But the main issue is the pigmentation. And I keep saying it's not bothering me. And it's not, I don't look in the mirror and be like, oh, I hate this so much. But when I do my makeup and things like that happen, and I'm like, oh, if I, is, what is that? Oh, that's just my skin. It is irritating. It is. It is. But as Tracy said, the more water you drink, the clearer your skin is, the nicer your skin is. And I'm really feeling great about my skin at the moment because of how much water I'm drinking. So, mm, it's still piping hot. Right, so this is actually another favourite. My corks are called Cop Love. Um, I've talked about that a bunch, but um, I got it from my FabFitFun box. Just deciding what I'm going to do with my eyes. If anything, I have this from Chanel from a few years ago and I love it so much. I don't know if they do it as part of their permanent collection or if it was like a, oh, it's, I don't know if this is still good, you know. Oh, it's fine. I can still use that. Um, I, I bought it. It's, I don't want to tip it up because it's like loose, but it looks like metallic, but it's super sparkly. Super duper duper sparkly. Um, am I still in touch with Laura from Laura Loves? Yeah. And we don't see each other very often because, you know, pandemic, but we used to have lunch or have dinner, um, like one, um, uh, once a month or so. I don't know if you can see that. Sparkle, sparkle. Funny they should say that as well, because as I was saying about the water, I was remembering she always used to talk about how much water she drank and how hydrated she was because she had very, very dry skin and eczema. And she would say the difference between whether or not she was hydrated or not can look like 10 years on her face. Um, and I never really, because I'm oily, I never really understood. And as I'm getting older, I'm like, yeah, it does make a difference, the amount of water that you drink. Um... What were we even talking about? What were we even talking about? I am terrible. Terrible. No, it's not even on my list. What were we talking about before I got confused with eyeshadow? Mm, the cop. Uh, um, sorry, the cop, I know. Mouth sounds are horrible. I was watching, I'm gonna do it again. I was, say, I was watching something that stop talking about other things and actually just get on with whatever it is you were going to say. So the Cork School Cop came from FabFitFun and I love FabFitFun so much. Um, I have tried a bunch of things that I would never have tried before and um, American brands and stuff that we don't have access to here. But I've also tried things like the Cork School that um, I would have been quite interested in, but I don't know whether or not I would have bought one. And it is a game changer. Now, at the moment, people keep telling me Aldi have them for about three pounds. Not the Cork School one, but something very, very similar. Um, like a double walled, which is, this is all it is. Just a double walled kind of little mug. You can put cold drinks in it and it stays cold. You can put hot drinks in it and it stays hot. It stays hot for so, so long. So you don't necessarily need the Cork School brand one. Um, and if I, I'm not reading the comments. I'm going to go back to them in a second. But as soon as I saw Nikki said... The new Gossip Girl was out. Someone else said, where can I watch it? I was going to say it's going to be watching it on a less than legitimate website. Nefarious means it's my favourite. Um, also, if you don't have access to Aldi um, or you go and they've sold out, Morrison's also has um, like just a, a silver version, like a, a metal one. <laughs> Excuse me. For... Um, five pounds which i don't think is bad because the cork school one's about 25 pounds so if i was to buy another one i was really tempted to get one from morrison's just to see how good it is and whether or not it's as good as the cork school one you know just for you you understand um but i didn't because i'm on a supermarket no buy speaking of no buy i'm on a supermarket no buy but it's supermarkets and amazon very very specific I have a confession. I have become addicted to buying something very specific on eBay. I think we might talk about this in Sunday's video. Um, I was going to do like a shop my stash or like a shop my wardrobe. Um, so that it like fits in with the no buy content and those people who are like trying not to make purchases. But I do feel that eBay falls into the category of, um, if you are trying to save money and you're trying to get into a different mindset, 
and maybe you're on a no buy because you don't want to do the whole um, fast fashion thing. eBay still falls into that. There's no way in the world you could guess what I have become obsessed with purchasing recently. Uh, and so I'll just tell you, it is wedding dresses. Wedding dresses. There's, there is a rhyme and a reason to this, but it's, it's almost as insane as it sounds. Um, I have four that I've bought from eBay. Um, just, you know, as you do, buying secondhand wedding dresses. And um, you're real, exactly, Rachel. Exactly. So I never had a, a... eBay is a wormhole. I mean, I just... Oh, you've just also reminded me because we're talking about it. I am actually watching something. Um, I'm watching something at the moment. Cause Emma's 40th birthday. No spoilers. It's Emma's 40th birthday next month. And um, I've, I'm going with a very specific theme. And the further into this theme I get, the more concerned I am that she's not going to know what the theme is. And it's not as as iconic to her as it is to me. I'm a little bit worried about it. Um, <laughs> I may have to ask some, like, probing questions that won't give it away to see, just to gauge. Oh, is this going to mean to you what it means to me? Because I don't know. Uh, but I'm quite far down in, in the tunnel now. Um, but there is something that I'm looking at on eBay today that I need to need. It needs to be mine. Um, so yes, Tracy, the wedding dresses are for the vow and Yule. So we have now booked tentatively, because obviously we don't know whether or not we can actually go anywhere, but we've booked to be in Vegas for our anniversary in January. And I've already been, um, chatting with a photographer. Um, we want to go to the little white chapel which is like that super tacky, iconic one that Brittany got married in. So many people got married there. Vera Duckworth got married there. Um, it's it's what we wanted to do the first time around, but we didn't. We stayed home for family. Um, and we had a very, very small register office wedding, went to a restaurant afterwards and then went into town. It was like it, the smallest, smallest wedding. Um, and we said maybe for our 10th anniversary, we'll have an actual wedding, like a big party. And... As the years have gone by, we've kind of toyed with the idea of maybe doing what we wanted to do originally, which was a Vegas wedding. Um, we've gone back and forth over whether or not we would want to be with the kids or not. What I really, really want is to just kind of recreate that moment that we would have had um, and go just, just the two of us. Um, we're going to have photos taken because my dad they were lovely the pictures he took but you know we didn't have a proper wedding so we've got some wedding photos but not like traditional wedding photos it would be nice to have some professional photos of Lee and I um it's just nice isn't it I think the photos are so large a part of a wedding it's all you've got afterwards um that it would be nice to do that I'd spoken to someone and she said well we do a lot of like anniversary photo shoots and they do photo shoots in the desert which look amazing um, and I was initially like, well, maybe we'll just do that because I think the Vegas Vow Renewal thing might be like, eh, it's too awkward. Don't know if I want to do it. But because it's our 10th anniversary and we always wanted to do it, it's not like out of the blue. Um, I think, I think we're going to do it. I think we are going to do it. I think it'll be nice to have done and there's no better time to do it. Um, we're going for a super short trip, like four days, just a quick thing just a quick like just a little anniversary trip and, and a half of one of those days is going to be this and I'm really excited about it so I've been buying dresses like secondhand dresses not like full-blown wedding dresses but dresses um to decide what I want to wear if we do the photos at the neon graveyard so this is also on the table Tracy um photos of the neon graveyard I think it's going to be either the deserts, desert pictures or the neon graveyard. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm not 100% sure what we want to do yet. We're going to do in the actual um, uh, come on chapel, which is like we want to do the outdoor one with the Cadillac and everything like the most tacky, just super Vegas. Um, and then some maybe like walking around kind of a bit like gritty you know not polished 
backgrounds just like walking around love that and then we're gonna have some nice photos this is the current plan i keep going back and forth because i'm like how does the day lay out how do i want it to actually be on the day and i don't know if i want to get in a car and go to a second location but we'll see if we do then we're either going to do a second set of like really nice photos in a much nicer dress either at the desert or um the neon graveyard is definitely on the table i just don't know what i want to do yet I'm not 100 percent sure um i'm kind of like constantly thinking about it because it's like a fun thing to think ahead to which we haven't had for so long but i'm also partially thinking but it won't happen because we won't be able to go you know so that's that's these dresses though i'm going to show you on sunday i think we're going to have a lot of chat about my ebay obsession and i may try on the dresses because exciting i also bought one of these dresses for like 15 pounds and all of them are new right let me just go through the comments mm -mm 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 -mm. uh puffy because of the heat oh and your ears feel gunky with hay fever tracy mm. uh, lee feels exactly the same with his hay fever um hi everyone it's 10 10 here in greece i gave oh 10 euro for diabetes walk to you thank you stacy also joined uh, facebook to follow you along um definitely need the spf today gorgeous outside today 100 percent. right so nikki let's let's talk about the gossip girl though we're gonna have to do um the kai flicks that i keep talking about we're gonna have to do a live where we just talk about tv because i think you and i could just carry that conversation uh, what colour is the hourglass highlighter thing that you use? Does it make texture stand out? Trying to find something that makes me look more glowy, but all highlighters. Okay, so the highlighter that I use is this. This is the hourglass dim light. This is a mini one. I'm going to buy the full size, I think. I mean, part of me thinks I am, but then maybe the full size will break more easily. I don't know. It's beautiful. It does not exaggerate. It's not like that glittery that exaggerates the pores here because I'm terrible for that because I'm oily. My skin texture is very, very obvious. Um, but I, no, not at all. Not at all. It's dim light. Would recommend. Space NK have the minis and I think they're about 15 pounds, maybe 20. Um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, HBO Max is where Gossip Girl is on or Nefarious Means. Aldi are doing a cleansing balm dupe for the Emma Hardy. Ooh. Oh, I think I need to try that. Um, oh, the copper cork, corksicle cop. I've got like real sniffles today. The copper, copper corksicle cop is £20 on ASOS at the moment, apparently. So I used to, did anybody else have like a party piece when they were a kid? Because I used to have a party piece. And I'm toying with doing it now. It was, um, I did it. <laughs> the last time i did this this is going to be so embarrassing but i'm gonna do it anyway um i used to do this my grandma taught me this when i was little this is insane you know when you start talking and you're like don't do it don't do it definitely don't do it um my grandma taught me this when i was young and i think it's like you know it's an it's a different i mean that's two generations prior to me and children had to have a party piece because they were brought out as entertainment here's my child do your thing and please leave um and so she taught me <laughs> no okay i'm gonna do it let's see if i can actually do it <clears throat> also excuse my singing all i want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper cup of coffee pot i may be off my dot but i want a cup of coffee from a proper coffee pot tin coffee pot and coffee pot they're not right for me. So if I can't have a proper cup of coffee from a proper cup of coffee pot on a cup of tea. <gasps> I'm very pleased with myself. My grandma would be so proud. I'm also going to have to lift that and put it on Instagram. It's what, you know, I, even as I was doing it, I was like, I can't, I can't turn back now. This is live. This is live. I can't, it, Michaela, this, you came as a, that was a weird time to join the live, for sure. Imagine if I had the proper copper coffee pot, Nikki. Now I need the copper corksicle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, performing seal children. When did this, like, I don't, did these people, do we make people do this now? Do we make children have, 
I remember also my mum taught me all the presidents and prime ministers. I knew all the presidents and prime ministers um, when I was three. And there's a third birthday video of me, which is everything you could possibly imagine. Absolutely fantastic. Because it's my, it's all the time around my birthday. Mum and dad hired um, a camcorder. And um, all the time around my birthday, they're just talking to each other. It's like they've forgotten that they've got a camera in their hand. They're like talking about people they know, like gossiping and stuff. Um, there's the after party with all the adults, which is great. But also, I am effectively just a performing seal. It's crazy. Unfortunately, my absolute favourite part is my dad's filming me. Well, he's talking to me while I'm in the bath. And it's hilarious. But obviously, I can't put that out there because I'm in the bath. Um, I used to live in pubs, would sing in an overturned crate at like 1am while the regulars were having a lock-in. Of course. What would you sing? What would you sing? Oh, Tara, I'm so glad you arrived just in time for my turn. But it is, I just, I don't think we make, I don't think we teach kids things like this now. My sister and I used to do a dance, oh, dance shows for everyone. I don't think that they were ever enjoyed. Right. But that was your choice. And I get that because I definitely tried to put on shows for people. But it's not like your mum were like, oh my God, Nikki, we're going to need a rendition of this. Um, it's not like your mum was like, right, she was choreographing the dance and she was like, now, five, six, seven, eight, you were involved in this. <laughs> you wanted to do this. She wasn't like dance mom. Yeah, looking back, my grandma treated me like her own child who was living it. She also bought me, I'm trying to think if she bought them for my brother as well. I think it was maybe just me. I had this like really traditional wool coat um, and a hat that went with it. Very old fashioned, very, very old fashioned. Yeah, memories, memories. Isn't it strange? Mm-hmm. Polish that crate, Nikki. Bet no one's ever asked you to do that before. Get it polished. I'm actually going to film um, a video with new makeup. Oh, hi, Emma. Morning. You just missed me talking about your birthday present. Oh. Good timing. Good timing. No spoilers. I didn't say what it was. Oh, I don't know if I like this lip gloss now. I loved it at the time. You know, you know when you put something on and you're like, oh, I love it now. I think it's a bit too, like... Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Yes, Emma, I've gone for a theme with your birthday present and I'm concerned that the theme... It's not going to ha it's not going to land. It's not going to have the same impact <laughs> that in my mind it will. I think I just kind of, I got an idea and I ran with it. And then I was talking to Lee about it. And Lee said, does she like that thing? And I went, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to say yes. Also, I might be over-highlighting today. But I'm really feeling it. So, whatever I get you for your birthday, Emma, you have to just pretend that it's, like, really, like, it is everything. Like, it's, it's so, even if you don't know what it is, I should film you open it whatever it is and you should be no it's not when i mean it is going to be like the box what but i think i should be there um yeah i'm gonna have to film your reaction and you're gonna have to just really practice your improv and see whether or not you can pretend that number one you understand the significance and number two it's really meaningful <laughs> it's just silly but it's also like I've also <laughs> gone quite quite deep into this 
um it's a it's like a it's a deep dive it's not like a surface hmm let's hope let's hope that i know you well enough lee just like put a little little chink of doubt a little and now i'm not sure but I'm sure, you know we'll find out won't we not that long soon we'll find out soon soon i may go a different way we'll see we'll see um right i'm gonna very quickly before i go i am gonna show you this this one um it'll be fine emma i'll be fine i'm gonna show you this one dress i'm gonna show you i just looked at my list and saw the thing also i sent a picture of this to emma yesterday but i need i need to show you and then I'm, on some day i may like show you properly and try them on but how beautiful is this how how beautiful is this so I bought this on eBay for £50. It's still got the tag on it, it's brand new. And it would have been from ASOS originally. But look at the back. Look at the back. I mean. So the idea with this, and it's also got like, oh, it's just, it's got like a little train situation, just a small. So the idea of this is that um, it would be like sunset pictures in like a blush sparkling and it's like sequin and pearl look how beautiful um like a sunset pictures it's i love i love uh, but i think also i would quite like to have um something plainer so hang on let me show you this as well so this is the plainer one that i got it's just this, it's just like this, but it's long. And I'm thinking, this cost me 15 pounds, and again, brand new. Um, I'm thinking of, I shouldn't be touching this with my makeup -y hands, thinking of having this made shorter um, and doing like, like a shorter, cuter something for the actual vow renewal and like walking around Vegas with like a leather jacket on or something because I think you could do that in January right I think it'd be cool enough anyway they're my vibes I'm like like cool edgy Vegas bride and then I want sparkly Celine Dion bride I think that's it's just you know it's very diva the mirror has two faces type feeling it feeling it in the grunge glitz totally so i was thinking about this before i filmed like have i had any fails i have got a list of things that i was going to talk about and i'm just going to talk about them next week because i need to actually take you to the places and it's not super convenient to do that in a live um basically any foundation that i've tried this week has been a fail i'm going through like another oh shoes knee shoes wait oh course I'll be in I'll be good to know. I just need to run to the bedroom okay I'm back I'm back so how could I not wear these shoes how could I not wear these shoes There are many, many options. My shoes are all above me, but these shoes though. I think so, I think so. I mean, I could, I could wear, there are some options, but I could wear these shoes. Cause they are super Vegas. I mean, I could wear these shoes with like the white. Sparkle. These actually, these are the ones that I bought in Vegas and were signed by SJP. So maybe I should wear those. Um, but I feel like the blue one, you know, something blue and all um so yeah my my skin has been purging because i've been using lots of retinol and so everything is just ugh. i'm just i'm really struggling with makeup this week which is why i did like lots of just concealer highlight not a lot else i'm just really pushing hydration while i'm going through the purgy retinol phase i'm also still trying with my like i've got a little red light device but I don't know, you know. 
I don't know if it's really doing anything. Um, tried a new foundation from Wilco on the recommendation the recommendation of Steph Toms. I think it's a body collection. Been in a few times and it's always been sold out. Finally got some and I love it. I never go to Wilco anymore. Um, I found... Uh, I tried the new Catrice foundation and like, probably too full coverage for you. I See, lots of people keep telling me about Catrice. Where are you buying Catrice? I would like to try some Catrice makeup. Um, and especially foundations people say are amazing. So I think I would probably quite like to try some Catrice makeup if there is. Unless, of course, you're buying it through nefarious means. Mm -mm. Amazon. Nikki. <sighs> Can't buy things from Amazon right now. You understand the situation. I wonder if I could buy it from eBay. I wonder. Mm. Also, I now have a massive pile of things to sell on eBay. <laughs> because I've been going through and I thought, as I was buying these dresses, I was like, so I'm going to have to resell them on eBay. And I thought I'll pull out some other dresses. I actually bought a different dress from eBay originally as a potential Vegas dress. It's not nice at all. It's a coast dress and it's fully sequined. And then it looked like it was like, sequin became mesh it was like an ombre of sequins to mesh but it's a very defined line it's not nice it's really really ugh, horrible on me really unflattering um of course <laughs> i think on the right person it would look nice but now i have to sell it and i'm like well i'm not taking a picture in it i'm gonna put up the pictures that the original seller put up the original actual coast pictures because they look nice um i think it just is not it's not at all what I was looking for. It's very, it's more of a like going out dress than a glam dress. Um, number seven, microdermabrasion is amazing. I love a microderma, you know, the like super, super, super fine scrub. Love, 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 love. Big fan. Um, I'm using one at the moment. I can't remember what the brand is. It's an American one, but they're all basically the same. So I would definitely try the number seven one because I would imagine that's one of the cheaper ones. Um, Superdrug Oat Facial Scrub, fab in about three pounds. Um, I haven't tried like beyond the little teeny, teeny, teeny scrubs, which I usually just use kind of like in certain areas. I don't like to put it everywhere. I'm just mindful, especially around the eyes. Um, but especially like here where I feel like I get clogged and around my chin. Um, but I don't feel like I've used a proper facial scrub in years. Not like a traditional one. Um, so I've got some newer stuff to try that I'm gonna do a video maybe for Wednesday. We're gonna get it together next week. We'll see. Um, I was sent this Revice Lift Filler SPF 50. Now I have the original Revice Lift Filler and it says specifically, I mean, deep replumping anti-aging cream. <sighs> yes, fine. I suppose that might be me. Um, I really, really like this as like a daydream. Daydream, I was reading at the same time. Someone said, uh, Catrice is in Primark. Hmm. Um, I was using this as like a night cream. I didn't love it as a day cream because underneath anything, it peeled up. And specifically in the thing that came with this, it said, perfect under makeup, won't peel up. So I'm gonna try it again, but that wasn't my experience at all but it wasn't the SPF 51, so maybe they've changed the formula, I don't know. So I'm gonna try this. They also sent me to some True Match foundation, which I can't remember the last time I've used the True Match. I don't think I've got one. No, I don't, I haven't, I haven't. I, not since I've been in this house, I don't think, if I tried True Match. Um, I know that they, this is what it says, with hydrating hyaluronic acid. Did it always have this? I don't know. Uh, but I know they've brought out a serum one, uh, so I think they're probably just like reminding people that we like this. So I'm going to try this after their um, filler day cream. Um, I have some pixie blush sticks that I haven't tried yet. Like this. Uh, I have this I actually bought last year and I have not even opened it. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Rose in, Rose in the Air. Um, eyeshadow palette. 
I haven't, I was looking at it like, have I even swatched this? And then I saw that the seal was still on it. So no, it's absolutely brand new. So I'm going to use that, which does feel autumnal, but still, I've got this little pixie endless silky eye pen, which is a pencil. So it makes no sense, but I've got this that I've never tried. L'Oreal, oh, oh L'Oreal sent me a few packages actually recently. Um, they also sent me this volume million lashes, Balm Noir. This is intriguing. I think I'm going to hate this. I'm going to try and go in with an open mind. But I just don't think that what I want from a mascara is for it to be balmy, you know? So, hmm, we'll see. We'll see. I just... But I used to love the Million Lashes. Love, love, love. It was my favourite. Um, and then they also sent this, which is very interesting. I don't know what it's called because there's nothing on here. I think the colour is called Saw. Oh, is it Eyesaw? Surely it's not Eyesaw. Um, I can't see anything that tells me what it is at all, but it's just like a, a plumping lip gloss with the world's weirdest applicator. How strange is that? Isn't that weird? Um, so excited to try that. Maybe I'll finally get it together and get all of my like sheer, just a wash of milky something lip lip glosses that I've been collecting for all of that time and I'll finally actually make a video about it. Maybe I'll do that. I really am excited. I started watching Tati's videos yesterday because she's like back. Um and I used to quite enjoy I dip in and out there. It's a lot. Um but I would dip in out and out of her videos and she was doing whatever she was doing, testing things and I just thought, hmm, I'm feeling it again, I'm feeling it. Um and September tends to be the time that I get really excited about makeup again and really excited about YouTube. I don't know if everything is cyclical over the summer. Like the kids are home now, so I'm now, oh, the kids are home. This is now, it's almost like summer has begun early. They'll go back for a minute and then they'll be off. When the kids are home, it's really tricky. Uh, and obviously now I'm working from home as well. It's tricky to find quiet time. And I think the biggest part of it is it's not finding the time so much as because I'm working from home, I'm already, there's so much time where I'm telling them, them, I'm talking about Milo specifically, but so much time I'm telling him, I can't do whatever it is you want to do right now because I'm doing this. Whereas my YouTube stuff, he knows it's a choice. He knows I could choose to play football with him instead of film that video, or edit that video. And it just is really, really tough when the kids are home. So, it tends to be that as soon as the kids go back to school, I feel like I've got so much time. I feel like I've been given time and I get really, really motivated. Um, so I'm kind of like working myself up. Like maybe I'll start a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, because I know come September, I'm gonna be like, budget beauty month, let's get on it. Let's do some hauls. Let's get excited about makeup again. It's just, I know myself and that's what happens. Every September is like, let's do a video every day. I just always feel that way. And I think that I'm particularly excited about that because I've been so lacking in motivation really this year. Um, and I've just been like, you know, and this September it will feel more like we're actually kind of coming out of the COVID of everything. And it will be like a light at the end of the tunnel. Whereas last September it was like, how long is this gonna go on for? <laughs> It will feel more positive. Um, right, I'm just going to catch up on the comments and then I'm going to log into my day job. Um, oh, True Match is too dry for you, Nikki. I honestly can't remember the last time I tried it, but I think that's my experience too. Um, but I don't know if the formula is different now. Um, Catrice briefly had a stand-up Primark in Meadow Hall. Oh, so not anymore. Home Bargains now some Wet and Wild and Physicians formula. Interesting. Um, you should definitely do a shot my stash or seven. Oh, a shot my stash or seven while you're in a no buy. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to do a shot my stash. I'm going to show you what is in my like day to day makeup stuff. I'm also, there was like a, I think I'm having a stroke. I could see like a twinkly light out of the corner of my eye. It's just the rug. There's nothing there. Um, all my makeup is in like boxes. I haven't organized it at all. I've basically taken out. I have shopped my stash and given myself a certain amount of makeup. 
and I think all the makeup I've got in these drawers is kind of like as much makeup as I need but I can't get rid of things for multiple reasons part of it is if I need something I can literally go to shop my stash it's not things that I need to see all the time but it's stuff that's nice to have in case I go oh do you know what? it'd be really useful to have this thing that I'm not going to need instead of me having to go out and buy it it's like oh well I actually have I'll tell you the top of that is when I'm looking specifically to do a full look from a certain brand or a full look at a certain price point or whatever. I'm like, oh, I'm missing these things. I only need to go and buy them, but I may only be buying them for that one video. So I, I am loath to get rid of things. I did a few years ago really cull everything and part of me regrets it because I think it's... I, I'm not a hoarder in my regular life, but I am a hoarder with makeup. It is a problem. So I need, I've got some Alex drawers down here and I need to just get everything out of these boxes in these wardrobes and really rearrange everything. So maybe that'll be a video as well. But I think this this Sunday, we're gonna chat about the um, the Vegas plans and um, I'm gonna maybe try the dresses on. I, have, I haven't personally dyed my hair, but yes, it is darker. I went for low lights a couple of months ago, um, kind of like a reverse, ombre because I wanted to have like a little bit of the blonde in but not much um and I wanted the to have like more dark I wanted it to like I wanted to be able to leave my hair to grow out again and um it faded really really quickly because obviously blonde is porous and it, it's not going to hold on to it like fades out quicker um so this time I said go darker because I know it's still going to fade but I, it's just going to last me a little bit longer and I haven't even re made an appointment for the next time yet, but I am going to grow my hair out a little bit again now, I think. But I love it. It's just, it's still got that kind of dimension. It's still got like some, something like it's, it's a bit lifted. It's not very flat. She's also done parts of it darker than I think my actual hair is. There are some streaks in here that look very dark. Um, and I think part of the reason that I'm like, oh, that looks weird, is because the ends of my hair were always way lighter than the top of my hair, uh, even naturally, like without anything on it. But I love this. It just gives me just a little bit of little things. And she's just a genius. I go to Laura at Mr. Tony in Doncaster and she colour wise, I mean, obviously a cut is great as well, but I've never had like anything major. Um, but colour wise, I, I've never been to a colourist I like as much. She's just an artist is what she is. I love it. And I just think there's never been a time where I've left and thought it's not perfect. Even if I've not particularly liked the tone or it's not been quite what I wanted, that what she's done is beautiful. Like there was one time where I, I wanted to go much blonder and she'd done, they were just so fine. The highlights were so fine that it just, I would call it like expensive hair colour, what she does. It always just looks really really polished um and i love it so yeah in answer to your question yes my hair is darker um are you gonna do a makeup packing video oh i miss makeup packing i miss packing in general <sighs> yes of course i will do a makeup packing video one day um i've got my hair appointments booked up to the end of the year so i don't need to go regularly but i was actually talking to my hairdresser oh my goodness i've just noticed my skin on my finger it's like all peeling off. Maybe I need to wash my hands after I do my retinol of an evening. Maybe that's what that is. Um, I said to her about the trips that we've got coming up and it's annoying because we leave, both trips are on a Tuesday. Um, one of them will be, like we'll travel down on the Monday night. So that's just the whole thing. I'll maybe have my hair done on like the um, Saturday and then I'll wash it and stuff on the, the tube, whatever, whatever. That's a non-starter. Whereas when we go to Vegas, which is January, which is not that long away. Um, when we go to Vegas, which is January, um, we will be driving down that day because we're not flying until the late afternoon. And I am tempted, super tempted, to book in with her to have a blowout on the Tuesday morning um so that my hair is nice like we'll arrive in vegas and technically she'll have done my hair that morning and then we'll be in vegas by that evening even though it's technically will be like the next day in our terms 
but I'm tempted um, because we could, we could do, we could do that. That would be fun. Um, I'm not going, I'm, it's not, I don't want blonde blonde, no. It was just a fun moment, um, but I prefer my hair somewhere in between, like a bronze. I really, what it is, is I want to be able to um, work with my dark roots while I can, until I get like a lot of greys. I think I probably need to uh, just leave it to be dark because there's gonna come a point where blonde seems like the easiest solution. When I'm going to the hairdressers because it's necessary, not necessary, but you know what I'm saying, um, on a regular basis, then fine. But right now I don't have to. Right now I can just leave it because my I don't have very many greys. Um, and I think I should probably work with that because in another 10 years, I'll be like, ah, it'll be a pain to be dark in another 10 years. Um, I go to a tiny place in the village where I live. So there's only two stylists and I need to have everything booked well in advance. Well, I think that would be the case for my hairdresser as well. It's really difficult to get in with her, but I just don't need, I happened to book this eight week appointment when I had my last one done because I knew it would fade. But with this, I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll call her and just like make some appointments just in case. Maybe we'll see. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I need to start work. Thanks for joining me. I know we didn't do a lot of faves and fails. Apologies. We kind of went off on a tangent, but I did show you the weird wedding dress that I bought. I love, and some shoes. So forgive me. And uh, next week we'll do a more traditional. Next week, I'm gonna get it together. That is the theme of the video. So I'm gonna get it together. And. I want to stop doing this but I would like to do more lives I love a live I think it's fun I like the the engagement oh I said yeah what's the point without people um quickly I have a dark root stretch and then a balayage however you spell it blonde and copper love a root stretch my roots are now like to here I think around here and so she just puts like can you tell? Is that, is that about right? Um, so she just puts like low lights in and it, are they still called low lights? I don't know. It breaks it all up and then she 